Hello everyone, welcome to Chemicals. We were discussing about oxidations of alcohols. So in this video, we are going to see what is open air oxidation. Open air oxidation is another important oxidation of alcohols. So open air oxidation is oxidation of a secondary alcohol in presence of aluminium alkoxide and a ketone to give a carbonyl compound, corresponding carbonyl compound. It is called a open air oxidation. Open air oxidation is alkoxyl catalyzed reaction. So here a catalyst. What is the catalyst? Aluminium alkoxide. Here we are using aluminium triisopropoxide. Aluminium triisopropoxide is used in this reaction and in presence of a ketone. Here it is uh, CH3, 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 CO, CH3, acetone. So whenever uh, oxidation of a secondary alcohol to corresponding carbonyl compound in presence of aluminium alkoxide and a ketone that reaction is called open air oxidation and another important thing is it is the reverse reaction of NPV reduction uh, we can see what is NPV reduction in another video uh, now open air oxidation is the reverse of NPV reduction it is the alkoxyl catalyzed reaction and it uh, take place through a six member transition state. This reaction's mechanism contains a six member transition state. We can see the mechanism. And another important thing is uh, this oxidy, open air oxidation is used for oxidation of steroids. Steroids can be oxidized using this mechanism. And um, during open air oxidation, Another functional group is not affected that is double bond, amide, ester. These functional groups are not affected during this reaction. Only the OH group is oxidized to corresponding carbonyl compound. Secondary OH is converted to keto and primary OH is converted to aldehyde. So we can see the mechanism. Now the mechanism is very simple. First of all taking a secondary alcohol and aluminium triisopropoxide. So what will happen? Aluminium, uh, aluminium abstracts electrons. It acts as a Lewis acid. Now the oxygen's lone pairs is transferred to aluminium, and one of the bond is eliminated, and this hydrogen is abstracted by this group, and they will form a alcohol minus H. Isopropoxide is eliminated. This is an alcohol. This can be written like this. And now what is the product? Oxygen and aluminium will form a bond. So the product is the compound is O, A, L, aluminium and two isopropoxide group. One is eliminated. Now, uh, I already said a ketone is present. So, the ketone will come into this reaction. Ketone. Here it is acetone. Now, what will happen? Aluminium will again abstract electron from this oxygen. And one of the hydrogen of this compound is hybrid ship takes place to this carbonyl carbon. So to this carbon, this hydrogen is shifted. And what will happen? This electrons, bonds, electrons are shifted to here and form a double bond. This is a cyclic transition state. It is a, a chair-like form. It is in the chair-like form. This is the chair form. So it is a cyclic chair-like transition state. And the product is what? R, C, R. Here a double bond O is formed. This electron is shifted to here. So a double bonded O. And this group is uh, eliminated. And we call this O, A, L, O, I, P, R, S, O, propoxide. 
twice. So a key tone is formed. This is the mechanism. Now let's see some examples. In first example, here uh, OH group is secondary alcohol is present. And the speciality of this example is this OH is a homoallylic OH. Homoallylic OH means the carboxy, the hydroxy carbon, the carbon attached OH attached to carbon is called a hydroxy carbon. The hydroxy carbon is beta to a double bond. Beta to a double bond. It is called a homo allylic alcohol homo allylic alcohol so here this carbon is beta beta to a double bonded carbon this is alpha and this is beta so this carbon is beta to a double bonded or uh, double bond so it is homo allylic alcohol when a homo allylic alcohol is present and we uh, do a open air oxidation on that compound, we will get a carbonic compound that is ketone and the double bond is shifted. The double bond shifts in homoallylic alcohol. So what will be the product? The double bond is shifted and the rest of the compound is same. Rest of the compound is same. So here the double bond is shifted. So double bond comes here and the OH is oxidized to ketone. Rest of the compound is same. And in second example, the double bond is not affected because it is not a homoallelic alcohol. So the double bond is not affected and the OH is oxidized to double bond or ketone and here it is a primary OH primary OH is oxidized to aldehyde and the rest of the compound is same no change Primary OH is converted to aldehyde. And in this example also, this is a secondary OH. Secondary OH is converted to ketone. So the rest of the compound is same. Double bond is there. Double bond is not affected. C double bond of CH3. So this is open air oxidation. Secondary alcohol is converted to ketone. Uh, in presence of aluminium alkoxide, aluminium alkoxide is the catalyst and then ketone. Uh, and in some reaction with this in an aldehyde, a carbonyl compound is present. So this is open air oxidation.